Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this little treat box for uh, Mardi Gras. These is, this project is done in the traditional Mardi Gras colors, which are green, gold, and purple. And I've used gumball green, um, the gold encore, and the gold foil paper, and elegant eggplant for my colors. Now this box holds uh, one of the little traditional edible throws uh, in a Mardi Gras parade and these are moon pies, the little sweet treats that are a marshmallow sandwich and actually I have got this one yesterday at the Mardi Gras parade here locally so I wanted to make a little box for it. I thought it would be cute as a favor for a Mardi Gras celebration or any little celebration that you have for whatever theme you need. So let's get started. First of all, I needed two pieces of four and a half inch square cardstock, whatever color that you need. The first one, which is the bottom, I scored at three quarters of an inch all the way around, and I've already done that. And I used this three quarter mark on the right hand side of my trimmer because it makes for easier scoring when you can hold this side of the paper down. Now for the top, I want it to fit on top of this bottom very easily and not too snug. So I'm going to score that in between the 7 8 and the 3 quarter inch mark which would be about 15 16 but I'm just going to line that up in between those two hashes and score there and then go all the way around and do the same thing. So I'm just going to line that up and it's just a hair um, less of a score than for the box bottom. And one more time. Okay, now we can put together, and I'm going to fold on these score lines first. Good, good idea to use your bone folder. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, cutting on this, on the score lines. So let me get my snips. And I'm going to cut up here and here up to that intersecting score and then turn it opposite around and do the same thing on this side. And remember, this is the box top. So um, normally I would use uh, probably something a little stronger than snail to hold this cardstock box together, but for the sake of time in the video, I'm just going to use snail. You could use sticky strip or Tombow glue and just hold it a tad longer to get it to adhere. Okay. We're going to put this together and do the same for the bottom. And then I'm going to show you what I needed for the embellishment on top. Okay, for the box bottom, I did the same thing. Cut up on two of the intersecting score lines on two opposite sides. And I have snail or you, whatever you adhes adhesive you choose to use. And I'm just assembling this box bottom. And I'll show you how it fits snugly. Let me get my moon pie. Out. and it fits in there just nicely and here's my top and it's going to go over there just great okay so now I've already had my embellishment done I took a paper doily and I inked it up with my Encore Gold pad uh, mostly around the edges because I knew it was going to be covered uh, with the medallion here and then I sprinkled gold embossing powder and embossed this and it made it beautiful. I just let look at that shine. And then I have my starburst framelit cut from Elegant Eggplant. Then one cut from the gold foil paper. And then I stamped Celebrate from Starburst Sayings onto Whisper White in Elegant Eggplant and cut that out with the smallest starburst and took some of this really pretty um, gold uh, Baker's twine and made a really uh, lots of loopy bow and I'm going to uh, take the paper off of my dimensionals and use that on the top for my embellishment. Okay, so there's a little idea that 
Uh, you don't have to use it just for Mardi Gras. I wanted to use Mardi Gras colors because at the time of the recording of this video, uh, tomorrow is Fat Tuesday Mardi Gras. So uh, there's an idea for you and you can use it for any kind of small treat. So if you have any questions, please email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.